Hello friends and welcome. So in the previous two episodes, we have seen that if I want to reach 1 crore in 30 years, at the rate of 12%, I'll have to invest 42,000 every year. However, at the rate of 16%, that same 42,000 becomes 2 crores in 30 years. If however, we reduce the period, instead of 30, we make it 25, then at 12%, I will have to invest 75,000 rupees per year and at 16% I will have to invest 80,000 rupees. What happens if we reduce the period? So someone called up yesterday and said my target is to reach 1 crore rupees in 20 years. Can we make some sort of a plan? So if you want to reach 1 crore at the end of 20 years, you will have to be investing 1 lakh 38,000 800 rupees every year for the next 20 years. See the difference. In 30 years to create 1 crore rupees, I needed 42,000 rupees every year at 12%. However, if I want to create 1 crore in 20 years at that same 12% rate of return, I have to invest more than 3 times 1,38,000 800 rupees more than three times of what I would have invested every year if I would have started early This is the power of compounding and the effect of giving time to your investments as Your duration goes on becoming shorter You have to keep on increasing your contribution multiple number of times here. It is 3x See the difference. It is 10 years difference 30 and then it is 20. But the amount which you are investing is 3x more. That is why it's very important to start early. We will reduce the period even more in the next episode tomorrow and see what difference it makes. See you there. Stay tuned.